What is going on heroes and villains? It is I, Shuby, and today we have another crypt event. It is crypt event number 46, and it started at 10 a.m., which is about an hour ago, and it says you need to search behind a door that needs three keys. This isn't very descriptive, but it's very easy to get to, so let's hop to it. So first thing we need to do is make our way into the underbelly of the crypt. You should pretty much know how to do that by now, but I'm just going to show you how to get there and just kind of fast forward it so we can get there a little bit quicker. Not trying to waste your time this morning. Once we get into the underbelly of the crypt, we're going to go straight ahead and then take a right. It's this first doorway on the right with all those you know flaming traps i was lucky enough just to run through but here is the chronica time vault and i received a singular item which is going to be the shao khan's nemesis Liu kang headband because i'd already received the other reward but thanks to reverend terry you can see that we also got the kung lao bracers shaolin steel and cord so that'll be both of those if you haven't received either one previously in Combat League. So here it is on the map, just in case you need a little bit more help. And let's take a look at Liu Kang's headband. His headband is kind of neat. It's this weird owl Cthulhu thing in the front. I don't really know what it is, but it droops a little bit lower. It covers his eyebrows for the most part. And the headband part itself, the actual fabric, looks real similar to some of his other ones, but it definitely looks a lot different with that headpiece. So now let's take a look at Liu Kang's bracers, his little gauntlets. They're pretty simplistic. It does change with the skins, you know, a lot of different little colors in there. But uh, yeah, I think it's kind of sleek looking. It looks nice. I like how the metal overlays one another. It just looks like a good, you know, piece of gear. So up next, because that is it for the Crypt event segment of this video. Up next, we're going to be taking a quick look at what's in the premium shop. And there's nothing too exciting in here, in my opinion. If you don't have one of these items, you might as well hop in there and get it. But as for me, I have everything unlocked already. And now we make our way over to the Towers of Time, and you can see that not much is going on here. We'll take a quick look at the co-op towers so you can see who's going to be in there for today. And then we'll check out the Premier Tower, uh, which is a rehashed old tower for Nightwolf and Kotal Khan. So if you missed that the first time, now would be a great time to do it. But the big thing for today is going to be the three new skins we're getting with the skin pack. If you purchased the Aftermath bundle, then you would have gotten these skins today or will be getting these skins today as of me making this video. They are not out yet, but those images are, so I thought I would just throw them in here. I'm looking forward to using them, I guess. I don't really use any of the characters. I guess I'll use Sub-Zeros, but to me, they all look pretty good, and they're all very different from, you know, what they've got going on right now. I know everyone wants bigger and more news and just a schedule of what's going on with NetherRealm Studios and the future DLC, and I'm with you there. I do hope we hear something soon, maybe even a little trailer or a teaser. Anyway, I am Shuby. Thank you for watching today, and I will see y'all in the aftermath.